What's up, everyone? This is Liam Sullivan, back with Gumbo the Khajiit in Skyrim. And right now I am joined by my friend, uh, name and address. Yes, name and address withheld. Yep, uh, you might remember this voice from the, uh, Pain 2 video with, on where you were fighting, uh, what was it? The Dagoth Ur? Yeah. Yeah, Dagoth Ur. And the second one, even though the third one, you're actually gonna end up fighting him. Sort of, which you ended up fighting him. And yeah. sort of winning. Sort of, yeah. Cool. Hold on, did it actually work this time? Because it's the third time we've had to do this. <laughs> what? Oh, Welcome yeah, the, the recording. Bloopers. Yeah, the recording's working, yes. <laughs> Yay. Uh, and I, uh, so... You'd rather have super observation, though. Yeah. We were having a conversation earlier about would you rather be super observant or, or be kind of like a spider sense dodging kind of thing yeah i chose yeah, to that's... be super observant yeah i would personally go with dodging because you never know when you might uh someone might try to punch you or you might accidentally get hit by a ball because yeah. i've been because uh i've been hit by a ball multiple times on accident most of them were from my own doing Yeah, well, if you're super observant, then you'd be able to see that coming. So, that's my reasoning. Eh, yeah, but, uh, yeah, like, if someone else is doing it, you wouldn't quite know how, if you're doing it. Like, if you're dribbling a basketball and it accidentally, I don't know, hits you in the arm or something, somehow, I don't know how, um, you would see it, you wouldn't just dodge it, but with the dodging thing... You would, like, instantly move your arm out of the way so that way you wouldn't get hit. That's true. Yeah. That's why I would just pick it, though. Yeah. I, I, gotta, I gotta beat up some people because they owe the Thieves Guild money. Oh, no. By the way, would you rather be trapped in a comic book yeah, of your really choice or be trapped in a comic book of someone else's choice? My choice. Told yeah, sir. Uh, same question, except or be trapped in a star or in a Star Wars comic book. You. By the way, you're permanently stuck there. Uh, so what's the question? You can choose either you choose one comic that you can go into and you'll be permanently on, stuck there, or you could go in towards any comic that any comic. But you only stay there for about five, for about uh, an hour, and as well, it's random. Um, I'm not sure. Actually. Like you could be stuck in the Star Wars universe and not know it, or you could choose to be stuck in like a Doctor Strange comic or or like a um Sonic comic, I guess. Uh, but you chose to do that, and you live there pretty much now. All right, I choose that one. Yeah. You choose the first option? The second one. Oh, okay, so you'd be able to spend an hour there. And you can and then you just go back to where you were, like no time has passed. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much like that. Okay. Alright. Would you rather have super speed but cannot control time? You know, like slow down time, or be able to slow down time. What? Uh and I'd... speed it up when, as you please. I'd slow down time and speed it up. Yeah, that's what I would go with, too. I mean, yeah, super speed's pretty cool, but you were able to pretty much slow down the time on how you see everything, and then you can just flip-flop it back, which is not, which is really cool. Yeah. Alright, would you rather be able to have the powers of time travel or dimensions, or be able to go to any dimension you want? Time travel. Definitely. That one's actually tough, though. Because time traveling would be cool. That's and, true. But also di uh, dimensions. Yeah. Hold up. What's up? Huh. Uh, anyway, sorry. Um, but yeah. So that one's really tough, because I could go towards a dimension where everyone's a superhero. Yeah. You know, like, or the Marvel dimension. Yeah. Or any dimension I want. I didn't 
I wouldn't want to live in the Marvel universe because I, mean, I don't. Yeah, that's true. Because you. imagine you're a construction don't worker. Yeah. All superheroes are e are villains to construction been workers. Been yeah. City. Yeah. Please, there's no need for that here. Message Which is understood. pretty crazy. Here, I even have yeah. the I mean, yeah. When you think, when you actually think about it. By the way, question. Yes. Do you actually believe in alternate dimensions? No, because I that? choose. I choose to believe that we have the ability to make choices on our own. No, no, no. I mean, like alternative dimensions. I mean, oh. like on how every action you do. Like, let's say, uh, here I'm picking up a pen. Another me wouldn't have picked up a pen, maybe a pencil. That's what or, I was talking about. I would. Yeah. I choose to believe that. You right. will have a choice. It's just another version of you. They have did, done that. Well, I don't know. Yeah. Plus, it could be like the slightest difference. You do the same thing that you want to, except another version of you could be blue, and he does the same thing if he wants to. I don't know. Yes. But hmm. yeah. By the way, sorry if you hear an echo. That's just the room I'm in. No, that's fine. Yeah. But yeah. I just, I honestly, I still, I find alternative dimensions fascinating. Yeah? Yeah, because, who knows, I might not, uh, be the me who chose to pick up this pen again. I mean... Or I might have just caused a chain. Best of all, you did it clean. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Dumping bodies While picking up that pen for alternative versions of us. Well done. Yeah. What if this suddenly turned towards a podcast about space and time? Here you go. I do you want to do a podcast? <laughs> yeah, why not? Pause the game, might as well. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, where are you in the game? Uh, I just beat up all the people. Nice. Wait, that doesn't give me a location. Oh, I'm back in the <laughs> Thieves Guild. Oh, sweet, okay. So there were the uh, guard in the Thieves Guild. The what? Do more than just the evil guard for the, uh, in the Thieves Guild. What's on your mind? There isn't an evil guard, but... No, a quote-unquote evil place. guard. I mean, you know, just guards in the Thieves Guild or something? No, there isn't as, guards. As for bad people. Oh, I see what you mean. No um, yes! Yeah, the guards... If you're part of the guild, if you get far enough into the quest line, then you can convince them to leave you alone because you're part of the Thieves Guild. Okay, then. That makes sense. Yeah. Um... Hmm. Yes? Yeah. Kool-Aid man? Ooh, oh yeah! <laughs> that gets me every time. Yeah. If, for those of you who do, do not know, you should watch the previous videos to find out the joke. Definitely do that. Oh, you know, um... You know what's funny? What's up, what's up? Uh, the ash from Red Mountain is red, and the Kool-Aid Man is red. Oh my god, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> the evil was Kool-Aid Man the whole time. It's real. It's yeah. canon. Uh, by the way, have you heard of the Great Eggnog Riot? The Great Eggnog Riot? Yeah, it's an actual thing that happened in history. What? No, I have not heard of that. Okay, if you want a better explanation than what I am about to do, uh, look up ex uh, go to extra credits then. They aren't a small thing, they do a bunch of history, video games, a bunch of things like that. Uh, but basically, the gist of it is, uh, back in, uh, back then, eggnog, uh, back then they actually, uh, sorry, I'm trying to, 18, in 18, around 1826, I believe, uh, they, uh, one of the, uh, tra uh, generals, you know, training, uh, lieutenants and stuff, uh, was, decided to ban eggnog because it actually contained, um, certain spicy drinks. I don't know if, uh, you know, like that. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about, yes? Yes. Okay, cool. Um, and 
uh, he did a, usually allow it uh, for holidays such as um um what was I think? oh yeah uh fourth of july and as well uh christmas but on independence day uh things turned for the worse so he decided to ban i forgot that the general who you know was training uh them but anyway uh decided to ban it ever since then uh then the lieutenants uh you know in training kind of thing decided to uh, smuggle in the Simple. certain ingredient that they need to make the eggnog and they were doing it their best to do that so the general decided to hire uh hitchcock you know uh general hitchcock yeah uh or not general a uh, lieutenant i believe oh, yeah, lieutenant uh at the time hitchcock um to watch over everything make sure the lieutenants aren't you know the training lieutenants aren't sneaking anything in and this went on for several months before christmas and basically he, he thought uh everything was fine so everyone went to bed oh by the way quick um thing jeffrey uh Don Dahmer, i believe his name you know jd yeah. yeah uh you know future president not president um right. the last thing we want forgot to uh, what he was <laughs> already um was one of the Maven uh worst ones in the school <laughs> he was a he was one of the instigators of this um, so the guild has a lot the lieutenants managed to bring in multiple gallons of uh the ingredient that they need to make it so, uh, during Christmas, they made the eggnog. Then, at the 24th of December, at 11.59 p.m., they started to party, basically. Oh. Uh, they started uh, having fun, singing, dancing. By the way, just so you know, uh, Hitchcock went to bed at this time. And so they began dancing and singing, and they were uh, having a bunch of a lot of fun. Yeah. Um. Then uh, uh, Hitchcock kept hearing just this banging noise above him, so he went to investigate room one A, and he found four lieutenants drinking um, the eggnog, oh. which they are not supposed to. Oh. And it's funny, and they were at first terror, you know, scared and terrified because he began going off, uh, going off on them, you know, being mean. Then he heard a noise coming from room, from downstairs, coming from I believe uh, I can't remember the exact name. Some guys say room one B. While he was going downstairs, though, what happened upstairs was, you know, in room one A, one man decided, uh, said, uh, "Grab your pistols if you got them." The night General Hitchcock dies. Huh. So, um, he goes downstairs and he literally opens the door and I kid you not, he finds six people there. And I kid you not when I say this, two of them were hiding under a blanket, one of them was standing in the center of the room, another I believe was hiding under a table, and one of them, I kid you not again, was hiding his face under his hat. Nice. Hitchcock decided to slap the hat out of his hands. And he stopped that. And then he heard a noise coming from another room, 1C. As he was going down the stairs, and he opened the door, he found four lieutenants drinking and having fun. And then, you'll never guess who comes out, JD, Jeffrey Dahmer, I believe, still... Yeah. He says, guys, hide the eggnog, uh, Hitch, uh, J Lieutenant Hitchcock is coming. And he turns to see Hitchcock there. And he goes, oh, shoot. Nice. Uh, he was told to go to bed. You know, Jeffrey, you know, JD. And as he heard one last noise, he saw a man enter the next room. A man with a pistol. Huh. Right at the door. Uh, as
as he was firing it, uh, the pistol, the gunpowder went towards his face, while another man managed to jump on towards uh, the man with the pistol, just barely missing Hitchcock. And as he was trying to get away, he ran towards multiple lieutenants. Hmm. Again, up, one up the stairs, then as he's running away again, ran downstairs, little did he know, someone was behind him with a board, knocked him out. Huh. Knocked him out cold. You know what's funny? What? Oh, uh, when you said knocked him out cold, um, my Skyrim character did yeah, a special... Did did a special kill animation on one of the nice. enemies. Okay, that's funny. Uh, by the way, I, I know I'm jumping a bit over the place, but I believe he also mentioned uh, to go get WW. I forgot what his name was. I'm going to call him Walter, Walter Whitman. White. I'll call him Walter Whitman. Walter uh, if you White. want a better explanation of this, go to Extra Credits. <laughs> uh. Shouting out completely different channels. Uh, anyway, so yeah. Uh, after this, a couple more, uh, hours bu uh, go by, then Walter Whitman, I'm gonna keep saying, came, came, came over. Luckily for him, oh wait, actually, three, I forgot one detail. Three enemies with the exact same character model are all attacking me. <laughs> wow, that is crazy. That, um, that's crazy. By the way... As uh, Hitchcock was warning uh, to go get uh, Walter Whitman, two um, two non-stabled people who have drinking eggnog overheard him and thought he said to go get average military men. <laughs> so they started to board up the schoolhouse. Oh my! On where they're staying in, and they are loaded Ooh. with weapons. What? As soon as um, Walter Whitman came in through the door, luckily, the eggnog was wearing off. So as he said to stand in formation, they all stumbly did. Except, uh, and then it promptly got stopped. Everything was fine. Uh, huh. This was one of the most embarrassing things to happen in um, the school's history. Instead of court-martialing all, I believe, th there was... 90 students who took part of it, so uh, about, not 50%, about 25, I believe, percent of uh, of the school took part in this whole thing. Uh, instead of um, uh, court-martialing the 25, they only uh, court-martialed 11. Oh. And two of them were permanently court-martialed, which both of them which the two who were permanently court-martialed uh, later turned into um, police. Uh, worked with the Confederacy. Uh, I believe one of them turned into Stonewall Jackson. And then another one, I forgot what he tur uh, turned into for it. Another one became uh, uh, Secretary of State, I believe. Not, oh. No, a part of the Congress, I believe, huh. back then. Which is funny. And... I th are you wondering what happened to uh, JD? Sure. What? Sure. Sure. He was sound asleep. He oh. didn't. He dodged. He was the main instigator, and he dodged a huge bullet right there. Yeah. Yeah. He suffered zero punishment. Actually, no way. He suffered punishment. Two weeks in his home. Two weeks in his home. In his room. Oh, his room. That's huh? That's nothing. Yeah. Uh, it was on, uh, for this uh, one Christmas, though, it was unusual because they allowed them to go home with their families. Huh. So that way they can drink eggnog. Huh. Yeah. Oh, shit, I've been on the phone for like 26 minutes. Yeah. Wow. But yeah, I know I didn't quite explain it uh, thoroughly and uh, not too well. But, uh, it, it, you get what it happened, basically, right? Yeah. Yeah. And it, it's pretty funny. Yeah. The Great Eggnog Riot, otherwise known as the, uh, Grog Mutiny, by the way. Oh. Yeah, that's also what it was referred to.
I'll see, I'll see. Real tragedy. Real tragedy. And I'll see, I'll see. Uh, he got uh, attacked by a dog. No, like my dog. <laughs> Looney Tunes returns yes. next. Yes. Do you know? Do you know who that was that I just did? Yeah, that was Foghorn Leghorn. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. I'll see. Uh. I can kind of imagine. <laughs> well, imagine like Foghorn Leghorn during the Civil War or something. Just like, I'll say, I'll say, we'll jaw to them over the hill. Oh, he'd be fighting for the Confederacy. Oh right? yeah, definitely. <laughs> That's kind of what I imagine. Just him in a, in a You good? Drop the phone. Uh, nearly in towards water. Anyway, uh, just him inside in a, in a Confederate outfit. Just like I'll say, I'll say, we'll take them down. Yeah. And win the war for the South. That's an odd, odd thought. Uh, on, which side do you think Bugs would be on, or do you think he'll just be on both and just mess with them both? Um, I'm not. <laughs> now this is turned it towards like a, a quote unquote tier list for what side each Looney Tune would be on. Yeah, I guess it depends on where his voice actor is from. It, or, it's from or something. I'm just talking about the character. There's, I don't think there's anything to go off of with the character. Yeah, the other, hey, we went off of uh, Buckhorn Leghorn just because he's from the South. You know, his character. That's true. Yeah, so, Bugs, I'm pretty sure he lives in the North yeah. by Oregon. Yeah. Or maybe, maybe, um, hold on, wait. <laughs> um, not Illinois. It can't be Illinois. I'm gonna, hold on, I'm gonna look this up. Where is, hold on, uh, here. You can't win this. You're on speaker, by the way, just saying that. So oh, are you, so. Where is, yeah, I figured I am. Is Bugs Bunny from? Oh my, he's from Brooklyn. Oh. What, he's from Brooklyn. So he, I don't think he'd be fighting for the Confederacy then. Why, why is Bugs from the, I expected him to be, um, somewhere close towards the west, maybe like California, or maybe even closer to the center, but not, nowhere near New York. I mean, he does have a New Yorker accent, so. He, actually, that's true, I didn't think of that. I mean, I was thinking maybe, um, Wyoming? Ah. Uh. Or, yeah, or Wisconsin. Not with, maybe not Wisconsin. But yeah, I just didn't expect that. Yeah. I, did, I didn't expect uh, him to be from New York from all places. Oh shoot, it's lagging. My game's know. lagging. Well, I'm gonna look up where Daffy Duck is from. <laughs> I don't Daffy know Daffy what Duck. accent he has. He has a speech impediment. Oh yeah, he, he doesn't have an accent. He's disabled. Uh, yeah. Effie Duck. I'm looking at the Wikipedia over here. Uh, first appearance, Porky's Duck Hunt, no. Um, voice, wow, he's had a lot of voice actors, actually. Yeah. Uh, his current one is, uh, Eric, I cannot pronounce his last name, uh, Bowser? Bowser? Uh, yeah, forgive it's me Bowser. if I said his name wrong. It's Bowser from Mario. <laughs> of course, Bowser. Um, does it? Al Alli allies. Duck Dodger. Oh. Okay. What? Alias, that's what it says. Yeah. Uh, his alias is the Duck Dodgers. Remember, uh, remember back in the old show? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and how he used to play as a space duck. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think this at all- this doesn't say where he's from, actually. Oh. I'm gonna guess, since he always encounters Bugs Bunny by his home, I'm gonna, I'm gonna also say he's from New York. True, yes. Yeah, I'm gonna guess that. This is just turned into what side- I, I know I'm repeating myself here, but it's still- it's, it's like we're just choosing what side we think each character uh, is on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Porky, Big From. Porky, Big From. I spent. Okay. 
That's oh, fair. that's his home world. Wait, he lives in. Oh, right, he lives in Hollywood. Wait a minute. How does he come on? How does he keep meeting up with Daffy and then um, Bugs? Very carefully. <laughs> Wait, what? Very carefully. Okay, where does Sylvester? Sylvester. Okay, oh, I've uh, been. Wait a minute. Why is one of the uh, most common searches? How did Sylvester die? <laughs> That's what a funny the heck? thing. Okay, so I've been recording for almost 30 minutes, and it's starting to lag real bad. So I think I'm going to end the recording here. Yeah, um, thank you for, real quickly, a uh, quick message, if that's okay for me, for, yeah. to the audience, if that's okay. That's fine. Uh, thank you for joining us towards our uh, history lesson, and as well tier list, on where we'll see uh, which Looney Tune would go towards the Confederacy or the Union. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> this is so dumb. <laughs> I mean, so was the last time you were on, so. Um, yeah. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, thank you for watching, and goodbye.